We're now going to look at some of the, the structures of the large intestines. First, you will notice that there's some curvatures in our large intestines. These curvatures are called flexures. We have one on the liver side, so this would be our hepatic flexure. And then we have one on our spleen side, so we call this the splenic flexure. I'm going to reflect my transverse colon back so that we can now see some other modifications here. We see these little sacs of fat attached to our colon. These are called epiploic appendages. You will also notice if you look really carefully, there is a band of smooth muscle that travels longitudinally along the colon. This is called the tinea coli. This band of smooth muscle pulls the colon so that it forms these pouch-like structures called hostra. You might also see them in this plastinated specimen where we can clearly see the tinea coli creating these pouch-like hostra.